Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and well, and today we are doing episode seven of my Liverpool career. Uh, seeing as I didn't have a mock tomorrow, I have a little extra time, so I decided to bring episode seven early. So last episode I left you with a cliffhanger of whether or not I would take the England job, and as you can see here, I have taken the England job. Obviously, I started, said at the start that the only England, the only international offer I would ever accept would be England. But obviously I wanted to accept it. Now today, uh, I want to, before we before we look at that, I want to say that this se this career mode will only be one season, and that's for one reason. Uh, because basically a Liverpool career mode is too easy. Like I'm playing on world class. I will go to the settings here. I'm playing on world class, and I'm um, basically doing comfortably in every single game I play, even the Champions League games. So I this will just be the one season with Liverpool, and then I'll go on to a more difficult career mode. It's just because obviously I support Liverpool. I wanted to do a uh, Liverpool career mode before I did anything else. But anyway, without further ado, let's go on with it. So, I uh, I do want to get through. I do want to get through um this uh, Liverpool career a bit more, uh, for a bit more quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sim the Brighton game. Play the Milan game, and it's a tough call, but because it's my first international job on a career mode I do, I'm going to sim the West Ham game, and then play the Canada Canada game, and then sim the Australia game, and I don't know about the Arsenal game, maybe sim it so that the start of the next episode will be a Lenny, I'm not sure. But yeah, in the future, if I do accept an international for in my... England international for in my um, career modes. I won't be I won't be playing the I won't be playing the first games. It's only because this is the first time. Anyway, we we will need to be rotating the squad here because we've got Milan in in literally two days. Yeah, we've got Milan in literally two days, so we definitely need to rotate the squads. Uh, put Elliot there. I'm gonna put Hendo there. Rice there. Simicast there. Um, Stones will have to play. And then I'm actually going to play Milner right back. Because I feel like that will be better than having Bradley play there. But we will have to see. It is. Two. It is a 2 1 win. Hen Hendo and Gordon, the two players that don't play very often, were the ones that scored. So that is good. 2 1 win. And now we can move on to the. AC Milan game, which we are actually going to play. Yeah, which we are actually going to play. Okay, so uh, so we have got the AC Milan game here. Uh, let's get straight into it. Our team, our main team should be fully fit. Let's check on the bench. No, Rigi can't be on the bench. That's annoying because I don't think we have a backup. Um, no, we don't. Arigi is sadly going to have to just suck it up. Uh, do we have a ox? Um, no, not really either. Um, Elliot, I, Jones could play there. And then the rest of the team, that will be fine. Okay, uh, without without further ado, let's let's get into it. Okay, and AC Milan kick, kick things off. Let's get started. Liverpool have a chance off the bat here. Thiago is, is pushed out. Oh no, they managed to keep it in. As Milan uh, get possession back. AC Milan on the on the attack here. Can they get an, can they get an early chance, an early goal? But no, Allison catches it comfortably, and Liverpool are back in possession. Pressure on the goalkeeper here, but he calmly passes it to Virgil van Dijk. And it is passed back into the midfield. But Salah could put Mane through here, but it's not that great of a through ball. And AC Milan have possession back. Big chance for AC Milan here. But again, Alisson ca catches it comfortably. And Liverpool back in possession. 
great interception there as Allison picks it up. Liverpool back in possession. Luis Diaz down the wing looking to cross it into Mohamed Salah but it doesn't work out. And Milan back in possession but it's given straight back to Luis Diaz. And can Liverpool take advantage of this mistake? They might, Nope, it is intercepted by AC Milan. Christopher and Kuku could put Diaz through here, he does. He tries to cross it into the middle to Thiago. It doesn't work out. Look, it is still in the box. It, it has gone out. But Trent gives it straight back to Thiago. Gives it down to Luis Diaz. It is intercepted. Liverpool have the ball. Again, no from the interception. Here comes Luis Diaz. He gives it to Thiago. Diaz, it goes straight back to Diaz here. It given given to Nkuku, given to Robertson, and AC Milan finally win back possession. Still moves here, and now it's a two against one. John Stones does good though, so that the rest of the Liverpool defence can get back. Long shot, and Allison has to tip it out for a corner. First corner of the game here for AC Milan. Can they do something with it? They do header it, but again, Allison catches it comfortably, and Liverpool have possession back. And Cuckoo could put Sadio Mane through here. Can Sadio Mane get the first? He can, but he can't. I mean, uh, but Liverpool still have possession. Long shot from Mohamed Salah. Oh, and, it, and the keeper actually had to make a save there. Straight back with Liverpool, though. Off, way offside. Way offside there. Sadio Mane way offside. And, and Milan have possession back. And Cuckoo! Mane! Oh, what a great interception. It looked like a certain goal. And that is half time. Liverpool kick off for the second half. Looks to make an instant attack, but it doesn't work out. AC Milan back in possession. Offside for AC Milan. Liverpool are back in possession. Van Dijk manages to get there and Allison comes out and gets the ball. It's given straight back to Van Dijk. Trent who is looking to start an attack. Here comes Mo Salah. He has tons of space in the middle here. Will he score? Oh, but surely that's a handball. It is. And a lot of commotion there. And as always, we will check. We will check a replay whenever there's a handball. So, for, but first, there is a lot of commotion here. So Mo Salah running through, he could have he could have fallen down there and won us a penalty, but he still went went for the shot. And here's the handball. Uh, it seems like it bounces off the keeper's knee. He's doing a dab there as well. He's doing a dab there. But yeah, it seems like oh no, it bounces off his knee into his hands. Yeah, that's a clear handball. Clear handball here. Sixtieth minute. A ha, uh, Salah earns us a penalty. The question is, can he score us the penalty? Aiming top corner here, and it is one nil Liverpool over AC Milan. Mohamed Salah, sixty-first minute penalty. Can Liverpool keep this lead as AC Milan kick off, trying to get that equaliser? be some substitutions happening in a moment. Uh, Jude Bellingham will be coming on the pitch. Uh, but for now, I think that is all we need. Which is good. Yeah, that's all we need for now. Jude Bellingham will be coming on the pitch and maybe his creativity can help us. Good interception, meanwhile. Salah tries to give it to Mane, but it is intercepted. Side from AC Milan, but good attempt. And, and Thiago is off, Jude Bellingham is on. And an excellent ball put through to Mohamed Salah. Will it be a second for Salah? Oh, and, it, and, it's tried to, and he tries to chip it over. But it's a great job for the keeper to just about get there. But here comes Trent. And it is given straight, it is given straight back to Salah. Good inception there. Drew Bellingham wins the header and Liverpool is still on the attack here. Salah passes back. Salah passes to Mane. Mane has a long shot. Oh, and it's another handball. Can you believe it? Salah, Mane tries to have the long shot, but it hits the player's hand again. And as always, we need to, we need to have a look at this. 
two handballs in one game haven't happened to me. Haven't happened. This hasn't happened in quite a while here. Look at Lewis Diaz jumping to avoid the ball there. Lewis Diaz literally jumps to avoid the ball. And that. And I don't know if there's something I'm missing here. But that was nowhere. Are they, are they trying to say his pinky touched up? That is the harshest handball I've ever seen. That is the harshest handball that I have ever seen. <sighs> yep, that is definitely not a penalty. But as I said last time, it wasn't actually a handball. Yeah, as I, as I said last time, it wasn't actually a handball. I am not going to miss it just because it wasn't actually a penalty. If I'm given a penalty, I'm going to try and score it. Here comes Salah for his second of the match and his second penalty. And again, he goes for the top corner. And it is another penalty score for Mo Salah. Mo Salah is catching up on Mane as our top goal scorer for, in this game. 80th minute, Mo Salah penalty, 2-0. And Milan kick off, trying to get back into the game, but it's looking futile at this point. And have a good attack here, but it is intercepted. Liverpool could do the counter-attack here, though. Mohamed Salah has been put through. He's much faster than him, but he just manages to get, get the ball. But he's given straight to Liverpool. Oh, and that is almost a great goal by Christopher and Cuckoo there. Uh, we will make some late subs just to rest players a little bit. Um, we will bring Jones on there at Cam. And also we will bring off Sadio Mane and bring Derek on for the last part of the game. Great chance by, by Nkuku there, but he just about misses it. See, he's, he's officially joined AC Milan in real life. So playing against this new club here, technically. Can he get a goal? Going to Mohamed Salah here. He's going to be crossed into the box for Curtis Jones. Oh, great save. Oh, and it's another handball. Three handballs in one game. I think that is a clear handball. But let me let me go and check. I can't believe this. I Three handballs that have gone my way in, there in one game. I've had three uh, handballs happen in one game before. But usually it's because of... Um, Usually it's for, it's like two for two handballs that give them a penalty and one handball that gives me a penalty. But the keeper makes a great save there from Jones. But then it, it, Luis Diaz's chest hits it into his hand, I believe. Oh no, it just straight up goes and hits his hand. That is a clear handball. And Salah, if he scores this, could get a hat trick because of penalties. We're going for the same spot yet again. And it is 3-0. Mohamed Salah with a hat-trick because of three handballs in the box, which gave us three which gave us three penalties. And that solidifies the win. Milan will be feeling might be feeling cheated, but two out of three of the handballs were definite handballs. So even if they feel cheated, they can only feel cheated out of one of one of those penalties, the second one, but they still would have lost 2-0. But anyway, hat-trick for Mohamed Salah, as we are still unbeaten in the group stage, and I think that put, confirms us to go through, and now it's just playing for top of the group. Oh, I, can't, I can't believe that, man. It's three hand, three hand balls so Salah gets a hat-trick. Absolutely insane. Oh, we have got a loan offer for Bradley here. It is a two-year loan, which I will accept. He can go off to there for two years. Obviously, he, I, will, I will have stopped the career mode by the time he gets back, but still. Oh, and it is now time to select to select the uh, international team. So I'm just going to go position by position. Goalkeeper is fine, but yeah, so... Unpopular opinion, I am putting Kieran Trippier in over Kyle Walker. And I'm going to put Reese James in over Ben Chilwell, which means, yes, I am going to 
only take one left back, but Trippier can play left back, so yeah. And centre backs, John Stones definitely, uh, Tamori definitely, um, and it will have to be these guys because everyone else is lower rated. Anyway, um, I will be, I will take Sancho. I need four midfielders at the very least, so one, two, uh, three. Okay, Bowen, sorry, but you are not coming. Uh, Ward Prouses, so that is three of them. And then I will also need a backup cam, but we don't need to take three goalkeepers. So who's the best backup cam? Ah, uh, it is apparently Deli Alley. But um, Smith Rowe cam, he did used to be a cam before he changed to left mid. In FIFA, so I will call up Smith Rowe to be our backup cam, and okay, that should be good for that. Now the attack. Jamie Vardy is not going to be uh, coming with us here. It will, yep, Harry Kane. That's good. It will be Tammy Abraham as the backup striker. <sighs> now this is the uh, this is the tough decision: Grealish or Foden. Now, for some of you, you might be saying, uh, Gre Grealish, uh, Grealish, uh, you might be saying Foden 100%, but whenever I play, play as England manager, uh, Grealish always does more, does more than, for me, than, uh, than Foden does, so I'm going to call it Grealish. I know that's controversial, but, oh well. But I think that is a completed team. Actually, I might take another midfielder because, yeah, I might take another, it depends, Conor Gallagher. Now, I'm only go I am actually only going to take one keeper to, um, to these friendlies because my key, I've never had a keeper get injured when I've played FIFA before, so, yeah. Anyway, that will be my England team. Now, we have to sim this West Ham game and then we can go on to the, um, and then we can go on to the England versus Canada Canada game. Uh, seeing as it's an international break after this, I can play my I can play my best team. So uh, yeah, let's sim it. A one-one draw. I will take I will take that just as long as we we don't get our first loss of the season in a in a simulation. That and Man United didn't win, so that means we haven't dropped. Uh, so that means they haven't caught up with us. So here we are, the, interna the international friendly. Uh, England versus Canada. Right, we've got to, uh, we've got to, I'm just going to sort out the team and I will be right back. Okay, this is my England team. Jack Grealish on the left. Kane as striker. Sterling on the right. Um, Mount as Cam. Hendo and Bellingham as our midfielders. Ben Chilwell as our left back, Stones and Tamori as our centre backs, Trent obviously as our right back, and then Pickford as a goalkeeper. On the bench we have Tammy Abraham, Saka, Smith Rowe, Ward Prowse, Conor Gallagher, Reese James, and Harry Maguire. And and uh, I am playing, I am leaving Sancho entirely out of the team because uh, because I actually, I prefer Saka to Sancho. Come at me if you want, but I prefer Saka to Sancho. So yeah, and also I d I'm not using a, uh, and yeah, also I am not using a formation that has a CDM for England. So uh, Rice will be on the reserves as well as Kieran Trippier. Actually, I am going to do that. So Rhys James, but Kieran Trippier has. Really good, um, where is it? Really good free kicks. If I can find it anywhere. 84, but, yeah. Will Prowse also has good free kicks. But I will, that, that, so that is my team. Let's get into this game against Canada. Okay, as Canada take kickoff, we get the game underway. Jude Bellingham here to try and make it 1-0 immediately, but Canada put it out for a corner. 
But a very early threat there from Jude Bellingham. Trent to send the corner in. And a scuffle inside the box is given straight back to an England player. And another scuffle and it is away. comes out to collect it and in back in possession Mason Mount but it's it but it is intercepted Canada making an attack here they could actually score oh and it's almost an end goal oh but Pickford just manages to get there and Canada fans will will be really sad as they could have actually scored against England there England back in possession Jack Grealish wins back the ball. Is Kane on side? He is on side. He gives it to Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham with the first England goal of of my career as England manager. The eight, the eighteen year old, the eighteen year old is a starter for Liverpool in my in my career mode, and he gets the first goal of my England international career. Jude Bellingham has been the one causing the main threats as we've seen right at the start. And that's a great goal from Jude Bellingham. Also a great job to hold off the defender so he could get the shot off. And it is 1-0 England. Canada take kickoff. R really regretting that missed opportunity now. I back on it. K Harry Kane could be put through here. He can't manage it. He gives it gives it back. He gives it to Grealish, who gives it back to Kane. Who gives it to Mason Mount, who ha has a long shot and it is well wide. Not the best effort from Mason Mount there. Here comes Jack Grealish down the wing. He launches it into Mason Mount. Uh, but the Canada keeper has collected it. And he... Here comes Raheem Sterling. 2-0. Absolutely a lovely play there by the England man. I didn't, I didn't even know it was going to be a goal. That's why I started commentating so late. But it is 2-0. Great play by the England team there. And it is Raheem the Dream with the second goal. Obviously expected as Canada kick off for the third time in the first in the first half. Here yeah, and and they do. Can he cross it in the box? Yes, he can. But great defending there. Oh, but that's a bad mistake by Jude Bellingham as they get another opportunity. But John Stones has it covered and it goes out. And John Stones did a good enough job that it managed to get a deflection on the player before going out. Be another goal before half time for England. Kane tries to have a long shot, but it doesn't work out, and that will be half time. And on my England debut, a 2 0 up at half time. Jude Bellingham and Raheem the Dream scoring the goals as we get into the second half. England take kick off here as we as they're looking to get some more goals to seal their win. Very smart game there by Raheem Sterling. Oh, and it's Harry Kane. That is that was an excellent play by Raheem Sterling. Just doing the little steps. Just doing the little steps there, and then when no one expected it, putting it through, and and um and Grealish gives it to Harry Kane, and the captain scores his first goal for England under my management. Three 0 Canada take kick off for the fourth time this game here he's all by himself though so it's going to be quite tough and a good save by Pickford and it goes out for a corner tries to head it away but it is given straight back to Canada oh and that is a and that is offside I thought they were giving a penalty there offside for um offside for Canada Jack Grealish on the wing, tries to cross it in, gives it straight to Canada's keeper. We will make some substitutions here to give other players a uh, give other players a chance to play. Uh, I will bring Saka on and put them around because technically Sterling is a left winger. I will also bring it's between Gallagher and Smith Rowe on, but I think both of our midfielders have been good. Uh, so I'm going to bring Smith Rowe on at Cam. 
And when the game next stops, those substitutions shall be made. Canada have an attack here. England are back, but there is a chance. And Pickford uh, manages to grab the ball. And England are back in possession. And can they get a quick counter-attack here? But no, it is intercepted. And suddenly Canada have a quick counter-attack. They're through. Oh, and it's off the post. Uh, almost a great goal by Canada. And they have another chance straight away. Oh, off of the post again. What a crazy few moments that was. Canada hit the hit the poster or the bar twice. And that and then finally it's called offside. What a crazy few minutes. Meanwhile the substitutions have been made. How insane was that? It's how he came through. He's on the wing rather than his usual position, but he but doesn't matter. Here comes Smith Row! Oh great chance, but the Canada keeper managed it. Okay, here comes Canada. A long shot. And I am actually going to just sim the rest of the game as I do have to uh, go and do something. Uh, so, yeah. But that is... um. So, that is the first game of England Manager. A 3-0 win. Uh, I will quickly go and sim this game. I am going to take out... Trent, yeah, I'm going to take out Trent and Hendo, and also Jude Bellingham. Yeah, also Jude Bellingham, because obviously they're my players. Also John Stones. Uh, but yeah, still pretty strong team. Should be able to beat Australia easily. Yep, 4-1 win. Anyway, I hope you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of my. Liverpool career mode. I will still be uploading one on um on Saturday. I just thought I'd do an extra one this week. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Bye.